Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the shrine of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. And as we gather in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. May dear friends, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to, to God, God in, in the highest, highest. And, on and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise, praise you. you. We bless, we bless you. you. We adore you. We, we glorify you. you. We, we give, give you thanks, thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the abundance of your grace, give increase to the peoples who believe in you, look with favor on those you have chosen, and clothe with blessed immortality those reborn through the sacrament of baptism. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Observing the boldness of Peter and John and perceiving them, to be uneducated, ordinary men, the leaders, elders, and scribes were amazed, and they recognized them as the companions of Jesus. Then, when they saw the man who had been cured standing there with them, they could say nothing in reply, so they ordered them to leave the Sanhedrin, and conferred with one another saying, what are, we to, what are we to do with this man? Everyone living in Jerusalem knows that a remarkable sign was done through them, and we cannot deny it. But so that it may not be spread any further among the people, let us give them a stern warning. Never again to speak to anyone in this name. So they called them back and ordered them not to speak or teach at all in the name of Jesus. Peter and John, however, said to them in reply, Whether it is right in the sight of God for us to obey you rather than God, you be the judges. It is impossible for us not to speak about what we have seen and heard. After threatening them further, they released them, finding no way to punish them, on account of the people who were all praising God for what had happened. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me. I will, give, I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me. 
Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. The joyful shout of victory in the tents of the just. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. I shall not die, but live, and declare the works of the Lord. Though the Lord has indeed chastised me, yet he has not delivered me to death. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me. Open to me the gates of justice. I will enter them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The just shall enter it. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my Savior. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me. Please stand. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had risen early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had driven seven demons. She went and told his companions who were mourning and weeping. And when they heard that he was alive, he had been seen by her, and they did not believe. After this, he appeared in another form, to two of them walking along on their way to the country. They returned and told the others, but they did not believe them either. But later, as the eleven were at table, he appeared to them and rebuked them for their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they had not believed those who saw him after he had been raised. And he said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. May dear friends, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. The gospel of Mark on this last day of the octave of Easter summarizes the appearances of Jesus to the disciples. Una, kay Maria Magdalena. Pangalawa, sa dalawang taong naglalakad, paalis. At pangatlo, sa kanilang lahat ng mga apostoles. Agad-agad, biglaan, di inaasahan ang pagpapakita ni Jesus. At agad-agad din, biglaan at di inaasahan Ganito rin ang naging wika ni Jesus. Humayo kayo. Umalis kayo. Go. Mga patid, hindi ko maatim kung ano nararamdaman ng mga apostoles. Yung tipong matagal ka naming hinanap, hinintay. Yung panahong gulong-gulo kami dahil namatay. Gulong-gulo kami sapagkat ikay sinaktan, pinatay. Yung tipong, yung pinakamahalaga sa buhay mo na wala. Tiyak, mabigat ang kalooban, ang sakit. And then, dumating yung magandang balita, nagpakita. Muling nabuhay. Nagpakita sa kanila, naging kaisa nila. And then, maya-maya, sasabihan silang, umalis kayo. 
maghihwahiwalay na uli tayo. Humayo kayo. Go. Hindi po sanay ang mga apostoles sa salitang go. Sapagkat sanay sila nung kasama nila si Jesus sa salitang halika. Kung babalikan natin yung naging buhay ni Jesus, nung kapilang, kapilang nila si Jesus, ang sinasabi niya ay come and see. Halika, tignan mo. Halika, makiisa ka. Hindi sanay ang mga apostoles nang sasabihin, Halika, maya-maya humayo ka na. As I have said, they're not used to this. The word go or letting go is something not really ordinary for them. But then, this is the main message of Jesus after the resurrection. That they have to go. Go out to the whole world and proclaim the good news. And indeed, the resurrection marks the beginning of the invitation for the apostles to go out. And what to do? To go out and proclaim the good news. The good news of the resurrection of Jesus. Pero mga kapatid, alalahanin natin, bago po ang invitasyon ng paghayo o yung paghumayo, maalala natin ang pinakaunang wika ni Jesus sa kanyang pagpapakita. Consistent po. Yun po ay ang biyayan ng kapayapaan. Peace be with you. Nagsimula sa peace be with you. Ibig sabihin, wag tayo mag-alala when it comes to letting go or going out. Kapag kasama mo ang Diyos, indeed, there will always be that peace in you. At tunay nga naman, mga kapatid, mahalaga ang aspeto ng kapayapaan sa kalooban. Because that's the only way for us to embrace going out. To embrace, to go out. To let go. Sabi nga nila, letting go is a very difficult thing to do. But that can only be done if there is that peace of mind and heart. And indeed, ganun din ang naisiparati ni Kristo sa kanila. Bago sila hinayaang lumabas, hinayaang maghiwahiwalay upang magsimula ng kanilang misyon, isa lang ang ninanais ni Jesus at dinadasal sa kanila. Humayo silang mapayapa. Humayo ng mapayapa. Kaya mga kapatid, sa pagpatuloy ng ating pagpapalaganap ng mabuting biolita, sa pamamaraan ng ating kanya-kanyang buhay sa labas, sana'y maging simbolo rin po ito ng ating pakikiisa sa invitasyon ng misang ito, sa invitasyon ng mga wika ni Jesus sa Ibanghelyo, na humayo tayo upang ipaliga, ipalaganap ang mabuting balita. So ibig sabihin, ang pagpapalaganap ng mabuting balita ay hindi lang ganun kadali. Sikaraduhin po muna natin magaan ito. Paano ka makapagbalita? Paano ka mapagbahagi ng mabuting balita kung ang nandito sa iyo ay sama ng loob? Galit, puot, inggit. Magiging posible lamang po kapag ito'y mapayapa. Kaya kung titignan natin sa Ebanghelyo, tsak pagkatapos umalis sa mga apostoles palabas, umalis silang hindi nasasaktan. Umalis silang nakangiti sapagat alam nila na buhay muli ang Panginoon. Kasama muli ang Panginoon. Mapayapa. Mapayapa. Gusto kong gamitin yung sinabi ng isang paring nauna dito sa akin kanina. Ginamit yung konsepto ng katoliko sarado o katoliko abierto. Sinabi ni Federico Gonzales, isang hamon sa ating mga katoliko, anong klaseng katoliko tayo? Katoliko sarado 
yung tipong dinadala natin ang kabanalan dito sa, lamang sa loob? Paglabas, wala na. Hindi dapat ganun. Dapat tayo'y katoliko abierto na ang kabanalan na natanggap natin sa banal na misa na wa ay dadalhin natin ito sa labas. Dadalhin natin ito sa lahat ng ating gagawin sa labas. Maging sino man tayo, maging asawa man, maging estudyante man, maging anak man, maging manager man, o maging empleyado man, sa pribado o di kaya sa government. Sana yung kabanala natin ay dadalhin natin sa labas. Ibig sabihin, ito yung pamamaraan ng pagpapalaganap ng mabuting balita. Ang kabanalang natanggap natin sa banal na misa, nawa ay ipapalaganap natin sa labas. Nakakalungkot yung makikita nating ang kabanalan ay nakikita lamang sa loob ng simbahan. Maya-maya, paglabas, ibang-iba. Nawala ang Diyos, hindi man lang maramdaman ang Diyos. Kaya ito yung magandang hamon sa atin. Bukas, linggo na po, pangalawang linggo na ng panahon ng, ng pagbuhay ng ating Panginoon. Sa pagpatuloy ng ating buhay, lalong-lalo ng panahon ng pandemya, sana tayo magiging katolikong abierto. Tayo'y nagsusumamo kung may hangi ng awa at kabanalan sa banal na misa. Nawa, pagkatapos ng mahal na misa, mapayapa tayong humayo, bitbit ang kabanalan at ipalaganap ito sa ating kapwa. Yun ang tinatawag na come and go. You have to let go, you have to go out. Sapagkat ang biyayang ipinagkaloob ng Diyos ay hindi lang para sa iyo. Ang biyayang ipinagkaloob sa iyo, yun po ay para sa iba. Alalahanin po natin niyan. Pinagkalooban tayo ng biyaya, hindi yan para sa iyo. Magpasalamat tayo sa Diyos dahil sa biyayang ito, bagkos tayo'y magkakaroon ng abilidad na magbahagi ng biyayang ito sa iba. Huwag tayong maging madamot sapagkat ang pagiging misyonaryo, tagasunod ni Kristo ay hindi yung pagiging selfish. Ang sinasabi ni Kristo, ibibigay ko to sa inyo upang kayo mismo ang magbigay sa kapwa. Or else, baka magsisisi tayo, babawiin yan. Muli po, the gospel summarizes the appearances of Jesus. And it ended up with a very good intention and invitation to go, to go out and share the good news. To go, to go out and share the blessings to others. We all stand. We pray now to God our Father in the spirit of His risen Son so that He may touch our lives, heal our doubts, and restore our faith. And for every petition, we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that the church may be filled with the spirit of the risen Lord as she proclaims him to the whole world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may commit ourselves to Christ as a proof of our love for him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that we may not grow bitter toward those who oppose us, but rather pray for their conversion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may be comforted in their suffering with their faith in the risen Lord. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may experience the saving power of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May dear friends, now in silence, we offer to God our personal intentions. In a special way, we pray for the souls of our departed brothers and sisters, especially the eternal repose of Christina Granil. And also, we thank God, we thank the Blessed Virgin for all the blessings that we receive, especially the gift of life of those who are celebrating their birthdays today, especially Frederick Cabanatan. Father, give us the courage to witness to the coming of your kingdom. Grant that we may always do your will and so merit your many blessings. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to praise you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint Dominic, San Antonio de Padua, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and, and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear friends, let us turn to Mary, help our Christians for the increase of priestly vocations in the church in Lingayen, Dagupan. And we shall, we shall answer together, grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You accompanied your son on his way to Calvary. Walk with our seminarians in their journey of priestly formation. 
Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You are the mother of the Good Shepherd. Inspire our youth to follow the voice of your Son and courageously answer his call to be shepherds. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You were with the apostles in prayer on Pentecost Day. Stay with us in prayer so that the fire of the Spirit may descend on your young men seeking their vocation in life. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Your Son entrusted to you the beloved disciple at the foot of the cross. Take into your immaculate heart our young men who are reluctant to answer the call to be priest. Mary, help of Christians. Grant all your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Mary, help of Christians, we place all our young men under your motherly protection. Inspire them to serve the church as priests of your son. Take under your motherly care our seminarians being formed to, for the priesthood. Accompany with the help of the with your help, your young priest sons, as they follow your son, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. The summer feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on April 21, 2021, third Wednesday of Easter. Novena Masses will begin on April 12 until April 20, 2021. The schedule of Masses will be at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m., and will be streamed live through the social media platforms of the Minor Basilica and via Manawag Dominican Radio 102.7 FM. We cordially invite you to participate in the Feast and the Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses during this Feast and Novena, you may approach our Basilica personnel in the religious stores and Mass intention counters or visit our website, manawagbasilica.org or FB page, Minor Basilica Manawag Official. Thank you. Please stand. Ako po'y nagpapasalamat sa inyong pakikiisa nitong aming banal na misa. Sa ngalan po namin kumbento dito sa Manawag, sa inyong lahat at lalong-lalo na sa mga tagasunod, tagasubaybay namin sa Facebook at sa YouTube, naasahan po namin niyo po na kami patuloy na magpa, magdadasal para sa inyong mga intensyon. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now we do the prayer for the blessing of the sea. God, Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now we bless all your religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, candles, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.